this pussy. Get him out of box. It's over. All right, thank you, Devin. All right, what's up, boxing fans? It's Aztec 101. So this is the official prediction video for the Devin Haney Ryan Garcia fight. Uh, it's happening tomorrow, and Ryan Garcia is three pounds overweight. So we're gonna see if that's gonna play a role in the fight because seeing the weigh-in, I do have to say that Devin Haney does look a little dried up. I just have to. I, that's how I'm seeing it. Devin Haney looks a little dried up. Uh, Ryan Garcia uh, still to his antics. Looks like he's still full of energy, and I don't know if I'm very confident in Devin Haney uh, performing like his usual self in this fight. He's He has looked sucked up before. He has looked dried out. He has looked like as if he's dehydrated, and he's still able to win the fight. But um, in this fight at 140, with someone who hits as hard as Ryan Garcia, um this does make me a little bit worried now this prediction video i gotta tell you guys it's not easy to make because even before all the antics before the fight was ever announced i always saw this fight as somewhat of a 50 50 fight it's not necessarily 50 50 in the sense of boxing iq um or you know when it comes down to technique i'm not gonna say that ryan garcia and um and Devin Haney are 50-50 when it comes down to their boxing ability. What I'm saying is, is that it's a 50-50 fight, and mainly because of the styles. Devin Haney is a better boxer. I do believe he is a better boxer. He seems like it, and he has the, the resume to prove it. Um, but what does neutralize that is, uh, you know, Ryan Garcia's natural abilities. His natural abilities... Uh, his speed, his uh, power, they are neutralizers. And, uh, he, you know, he is able to take um, uh, some things away from Devin Haney that Devin Haney had against other opponents. You know, this isn't someone like uh, Regis Progress who's, you know, not necessarily in his prime or even was an elite fighter to begin with. Um, and he wasn't consistently knocking people out like that. Uh, other fighters like, uh, you know, Gamboa was past his prime. Um, you know, Lomachenko, Lomachenko is a lot smaller. So he's not going to have to deal with someone who has shorter arms. Uh, you know, as a matter of fact, you're, a you're actually going to have to deal with, with someone who does have reach as well. So, I, I mean, I just think that physically, stylistically, uh, things end up even out. And we're going to see if that's even true because all these predictions don't mean shit. Um, and I, I'm going to give out a prediction video and a breakdown video, but I, I'm actually not very uh, convinced that I'm right in my prediction. It's taken me a little while to even come to a conclusion on what type of video I'm going to put up because it's kind of hard. I'm having a hard time figuring out who I really believe is going to win this fight. Because part of me is telling me that, you know, Devin Haney, He's going to outbox, you know, in my opinion, I think if Devin Haney is going to win this fight, I think that he's going to have to realize early um, that he's not going to be able to hold on to Ryan Garcia like he did, you know, with other fighters. Um, you know, it's it's he's not going to be able to hold on like he did with Cambosos um, and stop the rhythm. I think that Ryan Garcia will punch himself out of holding he will still fight through the holding and i think he's a lot stronger than cambosos um so i don't think uh ryan uh devin haney will be able to do that but i do think that devin haney is going to need to do what he usually does which is establish a jab and you know just pretty much jab him to death and if he can if he could successfully do that for seven of the 12 rounds he's winning this fight no problem as long as he doesn't get knocked down, as long as there isn't a, you know, a round where he's rattled, uh, too many rounds where he's rattled, as long as that doesn't happen, if he's able to jab him to death, he's going to be able to, you know, win this fight comfortably. And, and that's that's kind of seems like to be what a lot of boxing fans are thinking is going to happen. Now, on the other hand, you do have Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia isn't coming in like a normal opponent. He does have history with Devin Haney. They have six amateur fights. Um, they might not have, uh, you know, six 
full 12 round fights with each other they are amateur three round four round fights but at least he does have rounds in the ring with Devin Haney and um, you know not just that but also sparring experience so I do think that coming into this fight uh, it's not going to be the same as any other opponent uh, with Brian Garcia Brian Garcia is somewhat familiar with Devin Haney and uh, his rhythm so I think this all depends on Devin I, it seems like whatever pace Ryan can set in the beginning of the fight um, Devin Haney's gonna have to adjust and if Ryan and if Ryan Garcia if Ryan Garcia is able to uh, you know change the pace throughout the fight and keep Devin Haney uh, uh, constantly you know downloading information and trying to process and then you know adjust constantly adjusting he might be able to you know pull rounds seven rounds to be able to win a decision i have high uh, i have very low doubts that um ryan garcia uh isn't able to uh put on a good boxing match against devin haney a lot of people are saying that devin haney is just so good that there's absolutely no way ryan garcia is going to be able to box with Haney but I disagree I think that a lot of this has to do with who's gonna respect each other who's gonna be the one to respect the power can Ryan Garcia establish you know his own pace and his own rhythm against Devin Haney without Devin Haney doing what he usually does which is taking over the fight taking over the pace of the fight and turning it into something that it goes to his advantage Devin Haney has a great jab but he also has um, other combinations that work well for him and Ryan Garcia is gonna have to understand that Devin Haney is gonna not he's he's not the type of fighter that is um you know he's conservative with his punches he's gonna land punches uh but he's only gonna throw when he knows that he's gonna land he's not really throwing recklessly and Ryan Garcia um is gonna have to get Devin Haney out of that comfort zone he's gonna have to get him to start throwing punches when he's uncomfortable it's gonna have to get him to start throwing punches um that that maybe he he, he's not committing to 100 percent give himself opportunities to counter uh Ryan Garcia I think one of the best things that he has in his uh right now in his back pocket is the fact that he's kind of controlling the mind game so i don't know how this is going to affect we're going to know in round one to see how much this uh, if it really had any effect if devin haney comes out and really goes for ryan garcia we're going to notice that then ryan garcia actually got under devin haney's skin and you know if haney gets aggressive and gets out of character i think that's going to favor ryan garcia because if Ryan Garcia, you know, if if he has to if he has to chase Haney around or if he has to out you know try to get Haney to exchange and have Haney be first, I don't think Ryan Garcia is gonna you know he's gonna have much success in those rounds. Devin Haney has really good defense. Um, the problem is is will Ryan Garcia even give a fuck about? Haney's power how much of effect will that have that that's that's the biggest question you know we saw uh, obviously we saw his performance Ryan Garcia's performance against Tank but Devin Haney's no Tank Devin Haney does not have the kind of power that Tank has so I, I and if Ryan Garcia went at Tank I mean I don't know if Haney uh, wants those rough rounds with with Ryan Garcia. I don't think he really wants it to be a fight. I think he wants it to be, you know, I think he's going to stay with, to his usual program and box from the outside. As long as he stays away from the ring, does not get cornered, um, you know, Devin Haney does have the most obvious route to win, right? But let me give you my prediction. I gave you guys a bunch of shit, a bunch of details, a bunch of opinions that I think are important in the fight. But ultimately, what matters is who's going to win the fight. And in my opinion, I think that the the most likely thing to happen is not going to happen. <laughs> I have a feeling Ryan Garcia is going to win this fight. I'm just going based on gut. This is very difficult because honestly, I'm even arguing with myself. So anything you leave in the comment section and you're saying, no, but Haney this, but Haney that, trust me, I know. 
I know because I'm not 100 convinced. I'm not 100 convinced with this prediction that I'm giving you guys. I'm just telling you what keeps crossing my mind and I can't ignore it. And that's the fact that De- Devin Haney seems like as if he's off. He's off. He's he's not necessarily um, going to fight Ryan Garcia the same way with the same confidence that he's fought other fighters. I think he knows that Ryan Garcia has beat him before. He knows that he could beat him again. He knows that he's dangerous. He knows that he has power. And he knows that his speed is going to be an issue. So with all that said and done, I'm going to have uh, my prediction video. This prediction is going to be uh, Ryan Garcia. I think he's going to win. And I think he's going to stop him. I think he's stopping Devin Haney. Um, And I get it. A lot of you guys are going to be like, well, that's fucking crazy. There's no fucking way that you think that Ryan Garcia is going to stop Haney. But honestly, I believe that, you know, with all the mind games, with all the shit talking, with how mad they got Haney and seeing how Haney is committed to uh, fight. Uh, I, I honestly believe that Haney is in a position where he gets into the ring, his emotions is going to take over, and he will get aggressive. Once he's able to see that he can even put hands on Ryan Garcia, I think that he's going to start getting aggressive. Even though it's outside of his character, I think that this is enough. This is just enough poking the bear. This is enough poking the bear. But here's the thing. There's so many ways that Devin Haney can win. And so many ways that Ryan Garcia could win. This is what makes this a really good fight. So mostly, I don't give a fuck about who wins. I'm excited about the fight. I'm honestly rooting for Devin Haney. I do think that Devin Haney is uh, a really... He's honestly a standout champion. As far as being a young champion, he's a standout champion. I think that, uh, you know, when it comes down to who's who's going to fight the best... I think both of these guys are willing to fight anybody. So I, I don't doubt that, um, you know, it, it, it's it's honestly a good thing that he's still going to be champion because I know that Devin Haney is still going to defend that title or he's going to unify. and He's still going to fight the best fights out there. Uh, but for this fight right here, honestly, I think that it's going to go the other way. I think we're going to see an upset. I might be wrong, though. I know I, I know that what I'm saying is is. You know, the odds makers, they're, they're not in agreement with me. But that's what I believe. Let me know what you think. Make sure to like and subscribe. This is Aztec 101 in the ring. And I'm out.